Tune in this week when we try the newest Whistle Pig rye whiskey. And I, Don, I hear this one's finished in a unique way. You will not believe the way this whiskey's been matured. Stay tuned. Hi, welcome back to this week's edition of What's New at Charlie's. And this week we're going to be opening a bottle of the newest bottle from Whistle Pig. This is a single barrel Alfa Romeo G Force bourbon. Rye. It's a rye. It's not a bourbon. It's a rye. Yes. So, this one though, I mean, my good friend Mr. Don Williams is a bourbon full. Don, we've seen a bunch of things, barrel finishings, agings. They've kind of gone over the top with this one, right? What do, you, what do you know about this? Well, what I know is this. They have partnered with Alfa Romeo, who, you know, has a presence in Formula One racing. Yep. Um, and they took the barrels and put them into a high G-force wind tunnel. I don't think we've ever done a wind tunnel age bourbon before, have we, Don? You know, uh, my memory's slipping me, but I don't remember <laughs> that, actually, to tell you the truth. Then, on, not on top of that, they age it with a couple unique products, right? They, they do. They, they don't age it. They finish it. They finish it. That's what with, I meant. With two uh, very famous teas. Yeah. Uh, so it's oolong, and I think it's lychee. Okay. I think I'm saying that I'll right. Go with, I'll go with that. I'm from West Virginia. It'd be lychee, but, you know, whatever you want. Yeah, yeah I'm cool. You know, potato, potato. Exactly. It's who knows? one who, or the other. Who actually knows? Uh, yes. So not only was it uh, treated to a wind tunnel effect, but it's finished with tea. Yes. Uh, so this is going to be something way out of the norm. Yes. This one's really uh, a, a left fielder, as they would say. So anyway, so it's got... Like you said, the history goes, it's back to Formula One. Uh, the driver for Alfa Romeo. Yep, yep. Valerie, I got Botas. Botas. Don practiced that before the video, folks, just so you know. So, and he's very, from nice Finland. Job. Oh, he's Finn? He's oh, from nice. Finland. Awesome. awesome. Uh, and so Charlie was making fun of me because I didn't know what podiums meant in, uh, in, in uh, Formula One. So he has 67 uh, podiums and... 10 race wins. Absolutely. So it's kind of cool that they've uh, they've built a whiskey around him. And let's give it a try because I feel that this is going to be one of the most unique well, things we've ever tried. It already has one and of the most unique proof points we've ever tried. Oh, yeah. It's 96.77. Oh, yeah, that's right. And that's his number, right? His, his racing, racing number? number is 77. 77. All right. I You're guess. an Alpha Romeo guy, too. I am an Alpha guy. I, I love me an Alpha. Wow. <laughs> it's really different. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Wow. This is different than any whiskey I've ever tried. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's easy drinking, that's for sure. There's, well, de there's definitely some flavors in there you don't get from your normal whiskey <laughs> tasting. You think it's it's maybe tea? I think that it could be the tea. Could be the <laughs> lychees. It, it's uh, uh, um, you know the good news is uh, I found out that those teas, especially in China, uh -huh. are considered medicinal. And so this may be the healthiest whiskey I can drink. Yeah, actually, it absolutely. May be. It might be good for us. Yeah. So all I can tell you is, uh, it is different. It is fun. Yeah. And it's kind of fruit forward, isn't it? It, it, it is. It, it's it, it's herbal. Yeah, herbal. Yeah, herbal. Yeah, there is, you go. Is what it is. Yeah. And I'm trying to think of the right terminology but it's different than most any other whiskeys. Yeah, right. Which hey, good for them having some fun with something, you know? And you know, the other thing that I liked about this is I'm pretty sure it's a limited run, but 
It has a good retail price point. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For the fact that it was aged in a wind tunnel and, and aged it with tea and everything, yeah, it was that, a it was a pretty decent uh, that's price right. point. So, yeah. Um, but you know what? The, the Whistle Pig guys have been doing some fun stuff. You know, we had the summer stock with the sunglasses. Um, really like that one, and uh, you know, good for them. They're they're kind of a fun company, right? They are, and something that's been bothering me is. I wanted to. You find didn't get your pit vipers last time. You talked about it last time, Don. I couldn't do anything about it. I know. I wanted to find out why the where the term whistle pig came from. Uh huh. Uh, good question. And supposedly the founder of Whistle Pig, who is no longer with the company, but the original founder, was hiking, and someone referred to a whistle pig was in the area, meaning a groundhog. Oh, okay. yeah. So they called the groundhog a whistle pig, and it kind of was a fun name, and he kept it. And so when he bought the farm, he called it Whistle Pig Farm. There you go. There you go. Now you know, folks. Now you know. And we will continue to fill you with information whenever we can. That you will never – maybe you could win a bar bet someday. Yep. Cheers, man. Cheers. Thanks, Don. Thank you. Hey. Very unique, and you're going to want to try this. You Abs- really are. Absolutely. Zero to 60 in two seconds. Two seconds. Cheers, guys. Thanks.